So this is question number 34 from Joseph A. Gallian 9 series, chapter 3. So the question says, if H and K are subgroups of G, so H is a subgroup and K is a different subgroup, or maybe same, are subgroups of G. Okay, these are subgroup of G. Now we have asked to show that H intersection K is a subgroup of G. Okay, in order to show the subgroup, we first need to show two or three things. First, I have to show the identity element. Second, if I take A and B from that set, we have to show uh, AB implies that AB inverse should be there in the set. Then we will be able to say that yes, it is a subgroup. Okay, so we will start by identity. So clearly we can see that H and K are subgroups. So identity belongs to H and identity belongs to K. And this is how we can say that identity belongs to H intersection K. Why do we want to show identity? This will implies that H intersection K is non-empty. And after defining this only, we can say that we will consider A and B from H intersection K. Then only we can consider any number of element. And this implies that A belongs to H, B belongs to H. And A belongs to K and B belongs to K. Now from here, the trick applies. Since H is a subgroup, so AB inverse must belongs to H. And K is a subgroup implies AB inverse belongs to K. And this is implying that AB inverse belongs to H intersection K. And this implies that H intersection K is a subgroup. Is a subgroup. So we are done with the question for the first part. Now what the second part says, can you see that the same proof shows that the intersection of any number of subgroups of G finite or infinite is again a subgroup of G. So the answer will be yes, you can form. It's just you have to write, say some subgroup you are considering will be intersection. Suppose HI, I is from one to infinity and consider it as K. So K is a, you have to show that K is a subgroup. So clearly identity belongs to all HI for all I, then identity belongs to K. Similarly, you can say A and B you are taking from K. Uh, that means A and B will belong to every HI for all I. Now every HI is a subgroup. So AB inverse belongs to every HI. And from here you can say that AB inverse belongs to K. And this is how you can say that uh, K is a subgroup. So yeah, it is true for finite or infinite both. So I hope you understand this. Thank you.